Good afternoon and welcome to PPP Systems. Um, today we're going to look at our base mono system and this uh, includes the Oki B432 printer. This is a mono printer and is basically for printing black only. This is our print server and the print server connects to our online software and the online software is a mono only so it's a cut down version of the main software that we normally supply but it is just as effective and if you only need mono then th then this is perfect this is a a low cost um, sort of entry level get you going get you your business running and it it will do both types of number plates. There's a couple of different ways of doing number plates. One is you print onto dry reflective through the printer and then you place acrylic on top to make up the final plate. And the other method is to print onto clear acetate film and then lay that onto a reflective ABS panel so creating the number plate. This printer will do both or I either whatever whatever your choice is. So the first thing we do is we fire up the um, print server. Now what the print server is going to do is connect to our PPP server and by the way this box does need to be connected to a broadband router it needs to get out onto the internet and when this boots up it talks across to the PPP server it says where it is and then we go to the software on the PPP server and we're able to ask access this printer and this server to produce our number plates okay so here I am on my Mac I'm in Safari I've logged on to the uh, PVP system software. Here's our number plate software, and and as I said to you, this is a, a cut down version. This is for black only. So, for example, on side badges, you have a choice of pre-printed, which is um, it ships the reg to one side, so you can uh, use pre-printed reflective, or you can fit badges underneath and sandwich them, and all the colors and, and what have you are only black now you can see here it's saying install printer and it's telling me where this box is on the network so when I go in there I'm now in manage printers and what the box will do is it will search the network and it will search USB I have the printer connected via USB to this box so the key thing is this box needs to connect into your router which is fairly straightforward with a, an ethernet cable and as you can see I've got three printers there the two others on the network but there's the one we want and that's our USB printer simply click install and it will go away and it will install that printer ready to work on the um, printing of number plates alright so that's installed so I close that and I go back to the software and now this time we have the printer has been chosen and in there we've we've got it automatically selected to um, reflective media and a print quantity of one the next thing is to make a decision about the registration then we put our bottom line in and our BS mark and currently it's 145E and then if we click preview there's our number plate ready to print and it says print one reflective via the OKB 432 so let's pull back and do that so as you saw earlier, we had a choice of reflective 
dry reflective media this is white and what we do is we feed it into the printer let's get our setting right and I just push it in and I just tuck it back it keeps a little bit of pressure on there and then as we've designed up on here I simply click this button and that will go away and you should hear the printer start up in a sec I can see on the display screen and now you can hear the printers picking up and what it will do is pull the material in and out it comes on the other side and I always feed straight through it just leaves it open to too much potential error taking it through another set of rollers and as you can see that's a nice looking plate we would then lay down lay that down onto acrylic like that and there's our number plate now equally if we were to do it the other way around if we go into and click acetate and preview now the difference between acetate and and um, reflective is acetate prints in reverse so that's printed positive if you understand what I mean now if I then take a piece of clear acetate now the advantages of using reflective is against acetate uh, they're both similar and it's really down to personal choice so once again insert a piece of film into the printer and when I click print acetate now this printer is modified for um, reflective and for acetate so the software automatically controls which setting for the printer but as I say this printer you cannot buy one off the shelf and it work now as you can see the print has now come out in reverse and that is because we have our reflective media here and we are going to lay it down this way so essentially the ink goes underneath you know is at underneath the film so it's protected and that's that's pretty much how straightforward it is it's a very good starter package and certainly with PPP Systems Limited you can upgrade at any time either to a color printer or to uh, a more expanded version of the software. Um, I hope this has been informative and um, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.